In this exercise, we're being asked to convert this equation from spherical form to rectangular form. So we have the equation rho equals 6 cosecant phi secant theta. And over here on the left-hand side, we have all the conversions that we derived in, a, in an earlier video. So basically, the way these problems work is you take what's given to you and you try to use algebra and a little bit of cleverness to shuffle some terms around, rewrite them, so that you get something that, that fits one of your conversions and then use that to get rid of, like in our case, rho, phi, and theta and replace it with x, y, and z. And if we can do that, then we're done. We, we will have converted it to rectangular form. So when I look through my list here, these seven different conversions we have, um, I'm looking for somebody who has a rho. I don't see anything that has a cosecant phi or a secant of theta or a cosecant or secant of any kind, but I do see a bunch that have sines and cosines. So that could be a hint that we'll probably need to rewrite the cosecant and the secant as one over sine and, and cosine respectively. So let's let's start there and we'll see where that leads. <clears throat> so we get rho equals six times one over sine phi times one over cosine theta. That's just the definition of cosecant and secant. <clears throat> now let's look through our list here. I do see one conversion in particular that has a rho, a sine phi, and a cosine theta, but it has to be rho times sine phi times, sine, uh, times cosine theta, but I think we can make that happen because these two guys are in the denominator. So let's multiply these two guys over to the left and you would get rho times sine phi times cosine theta equals six and based off of our conversion, that product equals x. So you can take all that stuff out and replace it with an x, and we're done. We get an equation, x equals six. Um, now, we obviously can't do every example you know, ever conceived or whatnot, but you see the general process. The general process is you switch out terms that are in spherical form for terms that are in rectangular form. Some of these can be a little tricky, so it takes a lot of practice. Um, sometimes you have to use a lot of intuition or cleverness to rewrite something in spherical form back in rectangular form, but this was a good, a good straightforward example. All right, now what is this? What x equals six in space, what, what would that even represent? Uh, well, in three-dimensional space, x equals six would be a plane. It would be parallel to the yz plane, Basically what's happening is the x coordinate is always six. So six, zero, zero, six, one, two, six, eight, negative seven. And so if that happens, all the points would lie in a plane where the x coordinate is always six. So it's shifted out from, from the yz plane a little bit. So it started in spherical form and we converted it into an equation in rectangular form.